Caleb, uh, I came here today and it's the first time I couldn't find parking at the place. It shows that uh, you're starting to move up. Yeah. Um, I don't mean, I know you got, I know you have a, a, a title now, you, you have moved up, but people yeah. are starting to take notice. Yeah, definitely. I think that comes with the territory, you know. Um, I believed in what I've been able to do for a long time, but sometimes it takes a little while for the rest of the world to catch up. And um, I feel like I got to properly introduce myself back in January to the world and uh, just kind of show them what I'm all about, what I'm capable of. And um, it's starting to show, as you said, so a great turnout. Do, do you find yourself like it? having a lot of new friends or different people trying to hang around or do you kind of insulate yourself from that because you know when you're working your way up people don't uh, they don't want to be around as much as when you're on top uh i mean maybe a little bit but i kind of insulate myself from that i'm not really a person who's out a whole lot or um you know after fights i'll go out and have fun but i'm not really someone who it's at the club or, I, you know, I'm not a drinker. I don't go out and party. So, you know, I do a pretty good job of staying away from all that. So. The last time I spoke with you, I remember you were saying that uh, it, you got to win this fight. It, this, uh, I'm not going to say it perfectly, paraphrase it perfectly, but uh, uh, that you wouldn't have a home or something if you didn't win this fight, something like that. What did you mean by that? I mean that um, what I said was is if I don't win, I don't get to go home because I won't have a home. And what I mean by that is I don't have a plan B. This boxing is it for me. This is a one-way mission. Um, I don't have a backup plan. I don't have anything else lined up. Because um, I feel like when you have plan B, that's for when plan A doesn't work out. I'm going to make plan A work. So um, if this boxing gets messed up for me, that'll be it. Well, when you're, you're you're fighting, you're fighting a pretty tough opponent now. But uh, you seem very, very confident uh, going into this fight. Uh, is your confidence growing now? Especially when you when you have a championship belt, it's got to do a lot for you. Um, you know, I think it's inevitable that once you win a world title, that confidence wouldn't grow. Uh, you know, just belief in your abilities in general wouldn't grow. But um, if you go back and check my interviews before the Who's a Gataki fight? I got the same energy now that I had then, which is I'm going to win, and I'll bet the bank on it. Um, I tried to tell you guys before my last fight when y'all wanted to say how he was going to dog walk me and whoop me and knock me out and do this and do that. I told you y'all crazy. And anyone who thinks that Mike Lee's going to beat me, y'all crazy as hell too. So um, I've had the same energy throughout my whole career, and um, I'll continue to have that. So. I don't feel like I'm overconfident. I don't feel like I walk around acting crazy and talking crazy. But I believe in my skills. I believe in my team. I believe in myself. So. Well, I think that finally the, the thing is that you work. You've always been a hard worker, and uh, yeah. you know they always say it's 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 easier to get the belt than to keep it. Once you get it, sometimes people let up a little bit, and you have to be careful about that. But from what I've from what I've seen, you, you don't have that problem. I feel like once people, I've said this in some of the other interviews today, once they get there, they feel like they're the hunted and not the hunter. I still feel like I'm the hunter. So um, I've said this many times, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it was just a goal to become a world champion. It wasn't the goal. There's still much more to get. I'm only 18 and 0. I just turned 27 like Monday on the 8th. So I'm just getting started. So uh, I don't really feel like there's too much to boast and brag about. Um, there's been plenty of people who become world champion. I'm trying to become the first undisputed super middleweight champion in the world. So once we get there, uh, maybe I'll start feeling like the hunter a little bit. Well, we wish you all the best. Keep your eye on the prize and uh, good things will continue to happen for you. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Thank you.